What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always and welcome to a new video series, uh, learning with main man or coaching series, haven't really decided on a name, but it's really refreshing for me, it's something new, if you remember way back, I did a green rank guide, I did a light blue rank guide, uh, through smurfing, naughty main man, hopefully ethical smurfing, I mean we were, I was teaching, uh, but today I'm gonna play quick match, I'm gonna play with Kazuya, and hopefully in the future I'll do this series with maybe Paul, maybe Geese, very different characters to play, and in quick match, no rank points are at play, and I can run into literally a Tekken God Prime or Omega, or I can run into a green rank. And those are very different types of Tekken. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to think out loud. As I'm playing, I'm analyzing my opponent, forming a game plan to counter the character, the player style, uh, the level of play. Because yeah, again, like green rank Tekken is not Tekken God Tekken. It's just very different worlds. And especially when you play Kazuya, you'll go about it in very different ways, depending on your opponent's level of play. Again, I like to break it down into beginner, intermediate, high level, and then competitive play. And uh, for me, like, uh, the end of green rank to Yaksa, all of that is intermediate to me. Intermediate is the majority of the players. It's, it's just huge. And ahead of that, you have beginner, and then you have high level play. And then once you reach, like, Tekken God Prime, but preferably Omega, you're at, like, competitive player territory. Uh, most uh, pro players have an Omega, if not all of them. Uh, so let's see. Boom! Welcome to the King of Iron uh, so Fist I'll be playing Kazuya. Kazuya and again, I really hope this will be enlightening for people. Uh, I will share all of my thoughts. Try to get you guys into how I try to strategize as I play. And hopefully, I'm gonna play first to freeze with everyone. Uh, and I've changed my name to Abyss Watcher. I thought I changed it to Trevor. So I can be anonymous, naughty main man. I know that sometimes when people see my name, they might be more nervous when they play or try to troll like crazy. So I just want people to be as neutral as possible to really see how they play. Um, so hopefully all of this will be, again, enlightening to you all. And it's going to be very different, you know. Um, the character I play against will have me play a certain way. And again, the rank is almost the most important. If you play Kazuya, again, try to be patient. A lot of people just want to force uh, the Vortex as much as possible. But that's risky. In my opinion, try to be patient. Look at the opponent. And then just try to do a 1-1. One, one. And if it connects, hit confirm 1-1-2 one, one, and then do the Vortex. Just something as simple as that. And if you're playing green ranks, people don't sidestep. You can force the, the wave who mix up a lot, preferably on wake up. People love to spam and do hop kicks. Dash blocking is strong into punish should they hop kick. Um, but people don't sidestep. You can take advantage of that. And people, and, and this is a Im very important detail that I teach all of my students. I don't coach anymore, used to coach, was great. I don't have the time anymore, unfortunately. But uh, if you're in green ranks, you want to leave the green ranks. <laughs> oh God, Joe Biden. You want to leave the green ranks as quickly as possible. Because that's not where you learn how to play Tekken. It's when you get in high level of play and people actually play quite properly. Uh, so you want to leave them at, as quickly as possible. So don't make it needlessly complicated. Don't try to replicate JDCR sidestep electrics into wave of wave of mix-ups. In green ranks, you can actually just back to four, back to four, back to four, back to four, and they're done. New challenger. Kazuya, sorry, I'm, I'm soon going to play. Kazuya, uh, on paper, or like played properly in high level, doesn't really have poking or strings. It just doesn't. But if you're in green ranks, he's a great poker. Back to four, uh, mid-high, no one ducks the second hit. This comes out at 14 frames. Natural combo, good range. You can add a third hit. Uh, back to four on its own is plus eight on hit. Plus eight. And you, you know what it is on block? Minus three. So basically neutral. Sorry, I, I just do, I tell my... 
uh, used to tell my students just those who were in light blue green ranks just throw this all day long and then do mind games off of it oh add the last hit don't do the last hit do back to four in into a hell sweep etc this might sound like why are you teaching them to do that well that teaches a lot of mind games uh and I just want them to advance as quickly as possible, but I always stress that you have to be conscientious and know that Challenger. that's a part of your move list, like back to four, for example, that doesn't carry over into high level play. This move will be used in combos in high level play, but it's certainly not used in the neutral. That is literally a move that you use in green ranks, where Kazuya has great poking, but not in high level. Are you following me? So you have to be conscientious and aware that I'm using this now to get out of green ranks. But as soon as people start ducking that and you're uh, into more advanced ranks, you just stop using it in the neutral. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, so that's a very interesting concept to take with you uh, into green ranks. And again, you just want to leave green ranks as quickly as possible. Don't make it needlessly complicated, in my opinion. Because green ranks, you, you might see this as teaching you a bad habit, but that's nothing compared to seeing the flow charts and how people play overall in green ranks. That will not teach you Tekken. Right. They will use terrible flow charts and dumb stuff all the time. You want to get to the proper ranks as quickly as possible. Uh, so basically, that's green ranks. Uh, then in red ranks, people learn to sidestep, but they never use space control. They sidestep uh, okay, but they never use homing moves themselves. So even red rank Casio players, they might sidestep once in a while. But they'll never use the homings to shut down your sidestepping. So you'll still... I, I usually just sidewalk red ranks, uh, Mishimas, with big ease. Great ease. Uh, because they, they just... they forget about homing moves. But then when you play in high level with Kazuya, it's all about the homing moves suddenly. Everyone knows the matchup, everyone's sidewalking left. So you'll use ho ho homing moves, homing moves, New or you will... Um, uh, you can try to realign by, by yourself stepping left to counter people, uh, you know, sidestepping you to your weak side. That's something I'll be stressing a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna reset the search, by the way, and we'll play immediately. So, sorry for the long intro. I'm just trying to get some... Give you an idea of what you're about to see today and just the basics, the very basics of Kazuya and Ranked. Welcome to the King of Iron. Um, but for example, Kazuga if I try Mishima. to do a down back two on someone, if I play a higher rank opponent, I might do a sidestep left before doing it to make sure that it will realign as much as possible should they step my weak side. So I'll do this. Oh, sorry, this. Step left, down back two. Small step, down back two, like this. It certainly helps. Uh, but again, in green ranks, I'll just do Dominic 2 immediately. Or 4 4 3. In green ranks, people love to eat a Hell Sweep. Hell Sweep? And then they stand up ducking. They're always expecting a second Hell Sweep. Um, but oh, interesting. Yeah, let's just uh, accept an opponent. See what we get in terms of character, in terms of rank. Uh, it's gonna be very exciting. Here we go. 2% disconnect ratio. But it seems to be a 5 bar. Nice, I do like five bars when it feels like I'm playing Tekken, or where it feels. Oh, you see, not accepting. Oof. Usually that only happens in rank, rank battle, but okay, it can happen in quick match as well. New oh, I think it's the same guy. Okay, now he accepted. Nice. All right, so we'll see what this is. And again, I'm gonna think out loud. You're gonna hear all of my strategy. And I'm gonna try and focus at the same time. It's kind of hard to do both at once, but I shall try. Devil Jin, Rai Jin. So high rank, uh, basically at high level. Again, the cutoff is Yaksa. But Mishima players, even in like ruler ranks, they are very impressive. Usually very strong fundamentals. We'll see if he uses homing now. So I'm going to try and sidewalk a lot to the left, which is where we step Devil Jin's Hell Sweep and up forward four. Uh, we got to look out a little bit for electrics, but mostly I believe this is just going to be uh, sidewalk left for me, this matchup. 
But Devil Jin is very strong, and you gotta look out for up for four. Can't be overly aggressive. And he has a nine win streak, which is impressive. That was sidewalk left, one, one, two, and now we, we vortex. So again, don't try to force the vor vortex. Try to get a knockdown, and then you go for it. Nice. While running free. Good block. A lot of demon pull. That's 4 4 2. Again. Ah, too late. Well done. Oh, nice. I, I love that he did, he waited out Round with Tsunami two. down for 4-4 four, four delay. Most people don't. As you can see, I'm being very patient. I'm not trying to force uh, initiation. Now, again, if I dick jab on hit, he seems to want to duck afterwards, three. expecting a hell sweep. Fight. Nice. Nicely timed electric. Caught my sidestep. Again, sidewalk left. If you time it well, we'll beat pretty much any attack from a Mishima. Nice. Wow, that was a reset. <laughs> that wasn't even on purpose, but I'll take it. So I'll do a first to free against everyone I encounter. Um, just to, again, I, I mentioned this before, I believe, but so that we can see hopefully multiple opponents and ranks, uh, some variation. I don't want this video to be nine hours long. God knows Tekken sets can be long. But so again, I'm very patient. I'm just falling back, not taking needless risks. I'm not forcing a vortex. I'm waiting for him to go in and then I time my sidewalk left and then I just punish, Good knock him shit. down. And then it's my turn, vortex. Round one. Fight. Oh, the way. Beautiful electric. Oh, big boy staple. Well done. Dropped it, however. Nice. Round two, fight. Ah. Mm, nice. Oh, you dropped it. Oh. You see how literally just sidewalking to the left Round is just three. completely Fight. It giving me the match. Oh. Oh, nice. Try to stop. Likes to stay on the ground, we've noticed this. So Stomp can come in handy. That's launch. That's done. 
So this is also very important with Kazuya. Like, how does your opponent like to recover after a knockdown? And this guy just rolls on the ground. He stays on the ground, and then he does that roll on the ground. So we can stomp, we can forward, forward, four. Um, but you really have to keep this in mind. So this matchup right now, fall back, patience, sidewalk left, vortex, uh, if I get for one, one, two. And then when he's on the ground, he likes to roll on the ground. Fight. And then I'm not really taking risks when I'm in his face. I'm, I'm just poking. Nice. See? Sidewalk left, dude. Okay, bullshit. Kazuya's Oki is something I've been experimenting with a lot Round lately, two. using forward four, for Fight. example, on uh, on the wall. Very powerful. You can mix uh, downward one four with stomp. Busted wall combo. Nice. When you're lying down on your stomach with your the head towards your opponent, tap up into four to do an immediate wall stunning four. Very powerful. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Such classic main man. Uh, chicanery or bullshit. Down for three. He expects a string. I don't finish it. I unblockable. Nice poking. Four. Fight. Oh, nice. I could have launched that. Easy launcher there for Devilton is just to do can can. But we know this guy is a strong electric. He showed us before when he punished uh, Hell Sweep 1 on block. Even did the, the big boy staple combo. So now we don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna Hell Sweep. Uh, again, that's launch. KO. Okay, so well played to Mushi. You win. And that went pretty much like I expected. Like he was going to lose to sidewalk left and he didn't adapt by using uh, homing moves. Instead, he tried to time a couple of electrics and it worked out like twice or something. But for the most part, he got stepped. Um... And he was quite predictable in how he reacted to the Vortex when he was knocked down. Um, but still, solid effort from him. Um, super sick punish when he blocked uh, Hellsweet with one bear. I'm minus 16 and he does uh, double electric forward forward four. Uh, the big boy combo as punish. Uh, that was sick. Uh, okay, five bar America. So I'm playing against someone from good old Texas. Oh, how I wish to visit Texas one day and go to a range. Um, right, so what do we get now? Feng Wei, Emperor. Okay, so the, now we are in like, this is high level play now. And Feng Wei is a very tricky character. Uh, immediate tip here is that a bit like Xiaoyu, don't press needlessly. Never try to vortex him in the neutral. He will campo uh, away from Ford Ford Free and House Sweep. It doesn't work. Don't do it. And don't ever punch check Feng Wei. His punch parry is too strong. Round check him with one. down Ford 4. As you would do Fight. against uh, Xiaoyu. And he also has a lot of evasion, just like Xiaoyu. So down, down Ford 4 really is your friend here. Really is. One, two, vortex. He blocks it. Nice. Oh, the drop. Oh, 
Ah, <laughs> Kempo. But Kempo can block, Round but if he presses two. a button, he gets countered. Fight. Down for two. That's our big bad boy opener. 14 frame mid counter hit. Break that. 1 1 2, Vortex. Oh, I finished it. He only took a shoulder. That's his 13 frame punish. And that's like what? Minus 17? No, 18 even it is. You should always launch Calcio's down for 3 2 1. Beautiful. This is going really well so far. Round three. Fight. Again. I'm basically rushing him down. Damage two. Really good safe option. Oh, nice shoulder. Damn. Shoulder again. His shoulder is launched, by the way. So if he does it again, I'll, I'll fuck him up. Hopefully. KO. <laughs> if he does it again, no, I'll, I'll take it on my forehead, it seems. Oh, I caught him back turn. I didn't do the whole string. Didn't commit. Nice. No. Oh, okay. Nice duck. I'll sweep, I'll sweep. I love it. But uh, this matchup is so tricky that the majority, there's just so many knowledge checks with Feng Wei that you shouldn't do that, in my opinion. Like, uh, all due respect, if you find matchups to be annoying, uh, you can avoid them. This is your game, you bought it with your cash. If you're not having fun, then sure, you can dodge matchups. But in my opinion, uh, really, really, as annoying as these matchups can be, really try to relax playing these characters. Like Feng Wei Xiaoyu, it can be super annoying or Marduk. But just know that once you learn those matchups, it's not gonna be as bad as it seems because they are so used to people avoiding them that most of them, and it's like especially Nina and Ana players, most of them just do the same flowcharts over and over. And they have very weak defense because people just don't play against them and people don't learn how to counter them. So they all rely on like very New cheap flowcharts that you can quite easily counter if, if you put the time in. So, uh, Again, as annoying as it can be, uh, I really think you should get, try rematching as much as you can and try to remain calm and try to see the openings. So unfortunately, I didn't get a first to free with that uh, Feng Wei. Beautiful, Seiryu. We are now at a proper intermediate. This is really in the middle of the intermediates and this is a Brian. Uh, getting Brian hardest character in the game in my opinion it's him Kaz Yariachi if you ask me getting that character to say you is very impressive uh, so I'm expecting this guy to have more fundamentals than had we encountered for example a Katarina but Brian has the best keep out in the game pretty much so here I basically have to look at him from range if I run in I'm gonna eat 3 plus 4 or orbital or 4 for 4 uh, and I'm not going to sidestep too much because of Brian's very strong homing. But we'll see if he actually uses homing. So with, against Brian, you just wait for the right opportunity to start pressuring him. He's not very good at dealing with pressure. That, that's duckable. There's a lot of hatchets so far. Touch it. Yeah. So again, I'm just blocking. And as I'm blocking, I'm just trying to see my opponent's patterns. Punish. That's 
minus 12. Everyone's blocking Tsunami. Nice. Back one into down four. Nice. Well played. Doesn't duck a lot, it seems. Nice. As you see, my keep up is just glorious. If I get lazy and I don't think for a moment and I lazily attack, Brian blows you up. Okay. Okay. KO. Damn. I'm getting wrecked. Round three. Fight. So he's using a lot of fake pressure. Back one into back one. So I'm, I'm just gonna interrupt where I think I have the opening. Brian is actually a, lo uh, a lot about fake pressure. It's basically, is he going to add another hit or not? Down for two, down for two, down for one, down for one. Will he add a follow-up? I, w I whip punished on orbital. That is not too easy. No one moves there. I have to stomp more. Yeah, it's looking better. That was interesting. Oh, nice sidestep. Can I try stepping a bit more? I don't know how many homing moves. Uh, he uses. <sighs> Why did I do that? Don't lazily attack. And if you want to do that, jab check is your best option because it it floats the orbital. Oh man, I got wrecked. He ducked, and then, no matter what, he went for the wild stunning one. He played well. So what were my mistakes? I did too many lows. He would tech crawl and then uh, orbital. So now we're gonna stick with jabs. We know he likes orbitals uh, to, to knock him out of that, float him, and just pressure. Uh, I think a la big lack of jabs here uh, from me. And I can't sidestep more, more than I Round think. One. Uh, he didn't use too many homings. Punish, that's minus 12. Oh, nice counter. Yeah, you see the power of a jab? It's gonna be so important here because he does like that Round orbital. Two. And again, fresh, pressure is good versus Brian. He needs quite a few frames to get going on many of his key attacks. You see the difference now in the match momentum. Round I'm completely three. controlling the match Fight. by just jab checking him. Is he even playing? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a strat. <laughs> Is he upset? Wow, is he, is he salty? KO. He seems to be trolling, so I, I don't know if he's upset. You win. Okay, we're playing again. I don't know why. I mean, it, it looked like he got tilted and was like, fuck you, snake edge over and over. Uh, maybe jab spamming is uh, unethical. I don't know. <laughs> you, you never know when you play Tekken ranked what's ethical or not. It's like when people tell me, what do you do when someone's super cheap and just spamming lows? And I'm like, uh, that's cheap? 
I don't know, low Round parry, one. hop kick, orbital, Fight. block. <laughs> Snake head. Oh no, he's gonna catch me with down forward four. What is he doing? Unfortunate. Well, we are recording a good video and someone just gets tilted. Perfect. Well, can well, I triple two. perfect at least? The so down forward four Fight. and snake edge mix up. KO Each Round Three Fight <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have rematched. I wasn't sure what was happening there at the end of the last one. Okay. Uh, GG's. Oh, too bad. But he played well. When he was playing, he played well. That would have been interesting to see how he was going to counter my jab checking. And do know that that's very effective against Kazuya as well, just jab checking. Kazuya also just crumbles under pressure, no panic moves. These moves need 20 frames. Electric can't be buffered from a guard, but which is why it's so hard to block punish with electric. And why not? you're not gonna see that used as a panic move too much. A hey, Duke Nukem. What have I played against? Basically high ranks and one intermediate Brian. Well, Raijin, late intermediates. We've had two intermediates, one high rank, uh, the Feng Wei. New challenger. Let's see what this is. Green rank would be nice. Yamato, oh, Tekken God Prime. Okay, so this is a high, late, high rank player. Could be a competitive player. Um, so again, yeah, a first to three. Dragonob has a very insane pressure. Good versus Kazuya. Very strong movement and side steps. Good versus Kazuya, but problems. Dragonob is quite a weak character. And his only low, which is down two, is launch punishable by Kazuya's twin pistons. So, overall, not a good matchup for Dragonov, I would say. So again, as I said at the start, now I have to basically f use homing for space control. Because this is a strong player and he's going to try to step me pretty much all the time. Beautiful. Ah, nice Round two. Fight. Punish. That's minus twelve. Oh, wow, backswing blows. And there we go. Uh, again, his key low launch punish. Kip up. 
I should have seen this coming. I tried to break it, but it's unbreakable, so that's very smart. Round three. Fight. That's launch on block. Nice block. Hopefully he doesn't get a huge comeback now. The sidewall. Nice. Can I get a coon Round back? four. Fight. Oh, I tried to electric. Oh man, he is trolling. Nice break. Another reset. Oh, well played. Well played. You lose. People are so salty today. I don't know why. Oh, wait, wait. I, I'm playing online Tekken. But it's funny to see it in like quick matches as well. Oh, really? It's too bad. It's like interesting opponent. And he played well. Everyone is so emotional. It's like... Uh, just like Dota, you, you can see the emotion when they play, you know, when he did that triple backswing blow, it's like... Is he getting angry playing? But God, am I dropping combos. But it's actually been helping me a bit. Uh, you know, I get the resets, I get more damage. Okay, uh, so it would be nice to get a green rank just to show you guys what that looks like, but I think this is gonna be just a lot of high rank players, is what it seems like. Oh, I thought it was gonna be the same guy. Uh, but this is good. This is uh, intermediate, obviously. And it's the lowest rank we've had so far, Savior, which is quite high. Um, but so it should be interesting. Same matchup. This guy's obviously gonna have less fundamentals. Um, so basically, this is gonna be about try and catch the down two, twin piston, uh, block Round a lot, one. basically. And Fight. try to punish where he's unsafe. Oh, it's minus 14. Yeah, unsafe. Snake edge. Oh. Oh. So aggressive. Keep up. Low. Low. Should have launched that. Uh, so very aggressive. Um, as you can see, uses a lot of punishable attacks. Round two. So again, keep rematching these Fight. guys and find out what's posh punishable and not. That's minus 12. Minus 12. Minus 12, I think. Or is it 14? Minus 12, I was late. Minus 13. I'll take the one. Round three. Fight. Check. Oh. 
Chain. Oh. That's low high. No. Minus 14. Nice side stuff. Minus one. Blocked with snake catch, but he did the mix up. Nice. I did it again. KO. <laughs> Actually, Round smart. Four. Nice. Fight. That would too. Oh, mine is faster by one frame, but again, it's the second round start lottery. It's minus 12. Keep up. Oh, God. That's launch actually, but oh well. I'm so used to doing back one too today. Minus 12. And GG. So again, be patient. And in these ranks, people will just do unsafe stuff all day long. So if you just know the punishes, it's like, oh, minus 12, minus 12, minus 12. It adds up really quickly. Hurts a lot. All right. Oh, where it seems like we're actually going to play a first to three now. Okay, so that was the first match. Round one. Fight. Okay, snake edge. So there's not much Fight. to say about this. I'm just being patient, trying to uh, punish the stuff he's throwing at me. Plays a very tricky dragon on. Uses uh, decent chunks of the move list. Keep up. Check the keep up again. No keep up. See how this guy reacts. Yeah. KO. Now I experiment a bit with back to four. Round four. See if he ducks it. Fight. Doesn't duck it. Nice. He tried the bad trick again. Doesn't dock back to four, so I, I have a strong string. I can poke. Nice back swing blow. Damn, that was great. Really well done. Fight. Punish. Keep up. You're really going to use that string. It's, it's so uh, interesting to see these ranks and the level of uh, what the, the stuff they use. That's also a great thing about uh, back to four. It will float people uh, back to kip ups. Okay, I don't think he wants to play again. But you saw how many moves he used out of a Dragon of Repertoire. 
So that's basically... You just keep playing against him or people who play like this and eventually they run you will learn it's like a dark souls boss eventually you learn all those moves and then they don't really have anything more for you um so just try to that was basically a dragonov player that just knowledge checked with dragonov which is interesting because high level dragonov players it's all about like five attacks but this was like knowledge check dragon of have you have you seen these parts of a move list and i fell for a lot of stuff uh, he, he played well uh we're at 45 minutes so i'm gonna try one last opponent i'm hoping for a beginner rank or like early intermediate but uh yeah uh, I'm skeptical, but oh well, fingers crossed. Oh, did the search uh, bug? Seems super slow. Okay, I, I think it's bugged, so I'm just gonna reset reset the search. We're gonna try one last. One last opponent. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament, Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. Okay. So final opponent, we'll see. It could even be someone I've already played today. We'll see. Get ready for the next battle. If I get a beginner, I feel like we've seen everything. But I'm if I'm a betting man, high rank. Nice! I mean pretty much. Uh, the, the earliest possible intermediate, pretty much. They, they is exactly what I was looking for, but not a party character. The, this is a Mishima. Uh, Kazuya is super popular in green ranks, uh, up to red ranks. That, that's where you find most of them, and Brian players. And when they kind of die off, they stay at those ranks. Um, so, he's gonna Hell Sweep spam, forward, forward, free. I'm going to be able to sidewalk everything he does. And he's not going to use homing attacks. One. Fight. And if I hell sweep him, he will tech roll into a duck. He did, but I missed my downward free. No, he did not. Interesting. Hell Lancer in the neutral. Nice duck. He's expecting hell sweep. Oh, people hell sweep spamming these ranks. So you know what I'll do? I'm only going to use mids and highs. Damn, well done. Round two. Okay, so only mids and highs. Punish. Sidewalk. Oh, my 
same pot. Sidewalk. Mid. Punish. Punish. No, I used a low. But he tried to twin piston. Uh, again, I shouldn't use lows. You don't need Fight. lows here. Jesus, we're missing. Punish. There we go. Duck. No, you didn't duck. Nice. KO. Man, this is actually not bad. This is way Round better than four. I thought. Fight. Man, he's playing on safe. Nice. KO. I gotta say, I mean, it's not electrics. His win God fists. They're on point. Fight. He ducked. KO. He played well. Um, but again, uh, one one two. He was down for two, uh, or he got it through dropping like electrics. I punish that. And then sidewalk left, one one two. Uh, those of you who struggle with Kazuya's in these ranks, I mean, a jab beats everything he does. It's 10 frames. His health sweep is twice as slow and has no high evasion. Round one. You, you beat Kazuya Fight. by just jabbing and sidestepping. I mean, that's basically how Arsene Ash plays uh, Kazumi. Sidestep, 1-1 one, one check, and then hit confirm. And I'm not using lows. Risky. But we're sticking with mids. KO. So I'm using 1-1-2 one, one, and down for 1-4. Fight. And this, this play style can apply at this rank, but you can't play high level with 1-1-2 one, one, and down for 1-4. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, it actually catches uh, the sidewalk. I hadn't thrown a single hell sweep. And you saw he, he ducked. It's Round it's like three. it's autopilot to just Fight. duck. Nice down for two. I didn't punish. God, he legit made me choke. I choked. Round the punish. Four. Fight. This is a strong warrior. Oh, it's not gonna work. Nice. 
nice. Final round. Fight. Oh, that he ducks. Interesting. I tried. Uh, man, not bad at all. Okay, so that's 2 0. Now I'm not going to try and. Uh, use this very specific play style i'm just gonna play the way i normally do so i'm gonna utilize lows i'm gonna use um, all kinds of shenanigans i'm gonna try and 50 50 him uh i'm gonna use Round lows one. yeah fight could test his throw breaks as well to stress <laughs> Round two. Fight. Oh, Christ. He does vary his guard quite a bit. Interesting. Very interesting, this player. Oh, we trade. Ah, well played. Round three. Fight. Again. Okay. I would put this guy at a higher rank. Round four. Fight. Maybe he doesn't play ranked. I'm gonna see if he wants to play one more. I just I just find it very interesting. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, so this is the last match of this uh, video, and it seems this seems like it's gonna be like exactly one hour. I hope you found it enlightening, and if people like this video, I'll do another one, and maybe I'll play like Paul or uh, maybe Armor King could be a good character to play. Someone different. Round one. Hey, Hachi is a bit different. fight. Why don't I punish? KO Nice Round two Fight <laughs> KO Round three Fight Oh, no. oh really? 
Ah, oh, GG's. Man, he played well. Like, very interesting. Uh, he probably is a warrior. I was just uh, taken aback by uh, how he played. He had an interesting guard. But as you can see, he didn't utilize movement. Never sidewalked. Did use a homing move in down for two a lot, but... I don't know how many times he got it punished, but still kept throwing it a lot. So that's, this is where Akasia would start using back four or Fuji and Iraqan just to keep it safe instead. Or while standing free, which he did use uh, very well at, at one point and he hit me with it. He used it in the vortex. Uh, nice use of down back four as well. Uh, used that to, as anti side sidestep and just for poking. Uh, but yeah, Hell Lancer in the neutral. Uh, no movement. Uh, needs work on his electric. But oh well, he's a warrior. But he played well. Surprisingly well. Uh, but great sets, I feel. Although some salty players, but it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.